right, in this video we will be creating our first measure. So what we'll do is click here on that bottom grid, any of the cells, and in the top we will start to create it. So give it a name, in this case total quantity, and what's important here is you then do colon equals and then your DAX function. So here we'll do sum of uh, quantity, order quantity. It's important that you do the colon equals. Okay, so now we have our first measure showing up here. Let's save it. And we can go to our tables section here and we'll see that it does show up. So see like order quantity measure and let's deploy it. Because we want to take a look at it in Excel and, and see that it does show up in the, the actual model for our users to see. So let's pop open Excel and connect to our model here from database analysis services and write in the name of the server. And we do not want to use the Visual Studio temporary one. We want to use the one we deployed. So go ahead and move through. And here we see total quantity. There it is. The measure is now deployed in the model. We can slice it up, let's say by month. That's the beauty of DAX. It knows how the relationships work. So now let's say we wanted to uh, adjust how this number looks. We want to add some decimal or some uh, comma separated, for example. Let's open up uh, the measure and look at the properties. And we can see here that the format is general. Let's switch that to whole number. And we also want to add comma separated for thousands. Let's click on the actual cell here and we should see it show up here now. So flip that to true. And now let's save and redeploy. All right, so it processed, deployed. Move this down here. And let's double check again, refresh here our Excel sheet, and we see thousand separator, great. So that's just what we wanted. All right, so one other thing I want to show is how to create an actual group, so a folder that you can put things under. So you could add a bunch of measures under the same folder. So let's create a new one here. We're gonna call it average price. Again, colon equals, and we'll just say average of uh, price or unit price. Because this is a num uh, money, let's change the format to currency. And that's defaulted. And here is where we want to make the change, the display folder. So in our case, we'll just call it test folder. But this is where you could create a bunch of different folders and group things together. So when the users interact with it, you know, the same things are put together. So deploy. And now let's go back to Excel and refresh this again. And here we see that test folder show up with average price underneath which is exactly what we wanted. Let's bring it in. The formatting, the formatting is correct. It's a money currency value, and it's split up correctly by month. Yo, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.